And they leave at night time because that's generally the, something they are in the habit of doing. Which is nice, I suppose. Alright, well, quick save. And really, what else is there to do? We can go to Boulder's Gate. We can go to Drillex Tower. Or we can finish exploring these one, two, three, four, five areas that we haven't actually explored yet. Um, Carrot would want to actually explore some more areas. So the party's going to travel over this way and finish exploring this region of the Sword Coast. Good as done. Alright, and just because we're smart and we're thorough, we're going to save. Garrett's going to cast armor for the day. Um, does she have a spell that will do that? No. Alright, we're armored. Now let's wander around for a while. See what we can find. <laughs> well, let's see what's to the north. Come on, super friends. Oh, apparently just that uh, one area that we visited before when we came out the back end of the Nashkill Mines. Well, we'll definitely get to that. But for now, though, let us simply explore the area. What the heck? Uh-oh. Gibberling Horde! I don't know, let's have fun with them. Carid? Casts. Actually, we'll let uh, Dinah here handle this. Fireball, right there. Pew! Well aimed. So much for that ambush. Fried gibberling. Mm -mm -mm. Part of a nutritious breakfast. Okay. Let's explore a bit more. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Coming over this way. Nothing. This is where we originally arrived, actually. So we might as well look over here. Jahira, of course, scouting. She has the boots of speed. Uh oh, look out, look out. This looks like trouble. Hold! I am a member of the Flaming Fist and require that you identify yourselves. <laughs> Curtis is so annoyed with these Flaming Fist goons. He probably would say something like, We're a rampaging horde of Tarras! Cree! Cree! Your sarcasm isn't appreciated, so just shut your mouth before it gets you into trouble. Carrot would probably make fun of him and be like, Why don't you shut your own mouth, you ugly priggers? Not smart. I think it's time you got taught a lesson. He attacks us? That's horrible. You're just making fun of him. You can't even make fun of a Flaming Fist mercenary? Oh, wow. The party just took a huge reputation hit. Wow. Just for killing one Flaming Fist mercenary in self-defense, no less? I mean, come on, that's pretty dramatic. I don't know, I think... Yeah, I mean, that's... That's pretty ridiculous. I think I'm going to load an autosave here, considering it would have done that when we traveled to this area. That's pretty crazy. I mean, you're just making fun of the guys, and he uh, attacks you. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Why would they program the game to be that way? That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. Let's redo this again. All right, fine. Let's just say we're adventurers. Adventurers, huh? Well, you should keep a lookout. There's been quite a few reports about bandits causing trouble around these parts. Also, I've been searching for someone. A Flaming Fist man who stole a magical ring and a couple of expensive gems from our barracks and then deserted. His name is Samuel, and he should be leave traveling with a woman. There's a bounty of 50 gold for his capture. All right, then. Perhaps we'll meet again. Goodbye. Bounty of 50 gold. 
But apparently someone named Samuel is a flaming fist mercenary. Why did the game pause? Oh, because there's wild dogs over there. Well, let's have a... Uh, yeah. Tiny here will handle that. Pew! And there aren't any more wild dogs. That's what I think about that ambush. Oh, apparently, uh, something down here. And we cannot go further south. And this seems to be the end of the cliff. So let's go over this way. And west is where we came from. And we can't go south, so we might as well check out east and north. I love the ambient music in this game. It's very pleasant to listen to. I'm going to check to see if we're recording real quick. Yes, we sure are. That's nice. Red means recording. Oh boy, wolves. That's not nice. Carrot is very afraid of wolves. Oh, winter wolves, no less. More winter wolf hides. Go for the ice wolves! Go for the ice Let's see, the other one is right here. Well, waste not, want not. Two more winter wolf hides, thousand gold in the party's purse. They attacked us. Well, then the hippies would say, but you were in their habitat. Well, yeah. I mean, we're just wandering around. That doesn't mean they have to attack us brutally. I mean, what are you supposed to do when a pair of winter wolves attack you? Just be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to hurt you, so feel free to just gobble me right up. I mean, because I apparently don't care that I'm about to be mauled to death by brutal beasts. I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, of course. People suck. Animals are way better than people. And people obviously have no right to defend themselves against animals. Especially when they go into their habitat and, you know, walk around and just talk to people. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. But yes, we shouldn't try to simplify the issue too much. Obviously, animals have to have their own habitat, and we shouldn't interfere in their freedom, and blah, 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 blah. Of course. See, bears are okay. As long as they're not cave bears or brown bears. Black bears are great. Black bears don't attack anybody. But as soon as we see a brown bear or a cave bar, it's like, it's like hey, look, humans, let's eat them. You know what? Screw bears. You know, we've got swords and spells. Those bears can try it. I mean, they're just little representations of animals on a screen. They're little computer bits. And again, so are we, so... I guess that's not really an argument that can be fielded against them. That has a, a kind of logical impunity. Oh, hell, let's just use our fireball wand. Pew! Alright, well that made some gibberlings go away. Or at least the two that were there. I would have thought there would be more. Ew. Look at this mess. All this blood all over the cave wall. It's what disgusting. Looks like the work of foul gibberlings. You might have been able to tell it was them. Because we just killed a pair of them. They had blood all over their hands. What the goodness gracious is this? There's a man laying on the ground. And there's a woman there. Jahira! It's your time. How are you? Please wait a moment, kind sirs. You must forgive me for my appearance, but I've been wandering the wilderness for more than a week now. You've got to help me. My friend is badly hurt and he might die if he doesn't get assistance soon. Please help me. Uh, take us to this friend. We're always ready to aid a lady in distress. This is him right here on the ground. This is Samuel. He's so sick right now. She's sobbing. I don't know how much longer he has to live. Could you take him to the friendly arm inn? If you were to take him to Galana Nearshade at the Temple of Wisdom, she'd help him. Please, can you do this? Uh, fine, we'll help him. Okay, okay, we'll take him to the Temple of Wisdom. Thank you, thank you so much. When you pick him up, be sure to be gentle. Please take him to the temple right away. I don't know much how, how much longer he'll live. Nature servant away. Obviously, Jahira can't carry him. Khalid can't. What about Minsk? Yeah, mints can carry him. No problem. For the group. So we have to take him there right away, huh? 
Which means we have to drop everything we're doing just to take this Samuel guy, who apparently is the fellow that's gone missing, to Galana Nightshade. That or I could, uh, the party could just turn him into the Flaming Fist Guard. I think he said, uh, oh no, there's a whole bunch of them. I remember the guard said supposedly he stole a magical ring. Yeah, that takes care of them. I mean, the party could engage in melee combat with the gibberlings and not waste, uh, charges of fireball wands on hordes of them, but, uh... Kirid really, he's practical, he just would be like, you know what, this is not really worth the time and effort, so just use the wand, please, Stein here, and get rid of them quickly. Because, you know, I mean, yeah, we could beat them easily, but somebody could get hurt. 